dashing pole dark star Aiden Turner, who is tipped to replace Daniel Craig when he steps down from his James Bond role, has finally broken his silence on whether he wants to play 007. There's someone else playing the role at the moment, but when it's free I'll have a look at it," he admitted during a private screening in London this week. The 34-year-old, who has previously declined to comment on the role, was backed by former Bond Sir Roger Moore before he died last year. After appearing shirtless and wielding a scythe in pole dark, Turner took his shirt off again in TV drama, and then there were none to wear a bath towel. Sir Elton John and Barbara Streisand are among the legends who employ a teleprompter when they perform to ensure total recall of their standards. But Sophie Ellis Bexter, who is marking 20 years in the business with an orchestral album of her hits, found a more practical solution when she unveiled a new song at a London gig. I wrote the lyrics down on a bit of paper and stuffed it into the top of my dress, admits the murder on the dance if lure singer. Dame Helen Murren will have to make room on her mantelpiece for a new accolade. The 72 year old was the recipient of the 45th Chaplin Award for her acting career. Charlie Chaplin, after whom the award is named, died in 1977, but his model granddaughter Kiera, 35, attended the New York ceremony and shared this snap. Dame Helen said, I'm always honored to receive awards, but do take it with a grain of salt. However, to be recognized for all of your work, that's a very different thing and quite affecting, really. Author Helen Dunmore, who died from cancer last summer just two weeks after emailing her children her final poem Hold Out Your Arms, left a fortune of £665,000 to her family. Figures released by the probate registry in Wales show Dunmore, 64, left a net estate of £664,887. Her final poetry collection Inside the Wave won both the Poetry and Book of the Year prizes at the 2017 Costa Book Awards. She left £15,000 to her children, Tess and Patrick Charnley, and stepson Oliver Charnley Ward, £3,000 each to her grandchildren and £1,000 to the RNLI. The rest of her estate goes on trust to her husband, Frank. our most celebrated playwright Sir Tom Stoppard reveals he's struggling to put pen to paper. I started a play in January and I wrote four pages. They were okay, admit Stoppard, whose last drama, The Hard Problem, received mixed reviews when it opened in London in 2015. I had no idea what I was doing, I had no idea about the relationships between the characters. I wasn't at square one, I was in arrears. I pretend to have external pressure to produce a play, but I don't, the pressure is really just from myself. Sir Tom, 80, who is married to third wife Sabrina Guinness, adds, you need to be in the bubble. Five days would be good. Five weeks would be better. But I am distracted in 18 kinds of ways, the way one is. Novelist Martin Emmy admits that he's scared of losing his talent with age. I'm going to be 70 next year, and that's the point at which most writers start to falter, he claims. If as it's been argued, talent and originality are the same thing, it's hard to go on being original. 
at least he has found a silver lining. Old age is terrible and remorseless. But it does give back some things, and there are pleasures you have in age that you couldn't possibly have in youth. Sherlock star Benedict Cumberbatch meditates to cope with his busy schedule. I'll do it once a day, usually in the morning, or if I am jet lagged, I'll try to meditate at the end of the day. It's a great way to still a mind before sleeping, says the 41 year old who has two children with theater director Sophie Hunter. It's not some wishy-washy thing that is cool to do because the Beatles were doing it 